Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm about to change your life forevers. Yes, because um, I read a book last night that blew my mind and um, I can't wait for you guys to check it out. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a background here. I had been, as you guys know, like picking up a bunch of... Um, the books by Henry Rollins that I had years and years ago. And I'm trying to get all those back and reading them and all that other stuff. Because of that, I was watching a bunch of shit on YouTube with Henry Rollins and Black Flag and stuff like that. One of the videos that popped up was an interview with Henry Rollins by Rick Rubin. Because he has a podcast now. Which I'm going to be listening to a lot. And... I was like, oh, Rick Rubin. Yeah, like, I, I, I know Rick Rubin. And then I was listening to um, the Jim Cornette Experience, one of the not literature podcasts that I listened to. And he was talking about how um, Rick Rubin funded um, Smoky Mountain Wrestling. And he was like the investor on that. That's right. And then Cornette was talking about how... Um, Rick Rubin is a huge fan of Southern wrestling and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And then I go back on YouTube and I start looking through videos and I'm getting all these recommendations of um, interviews with Rick Rubin. And I was going through all these and then one said um, like three days ago or something like that. I'm like, oh, I'll watch something recent and see what he's up to. Oh, and then another thing was yesterday um, I was playing my guitar a bunch and recorded a bunch of songs or whatever to put up on here. And one of the songs I played was this song called 13 that was written by Glenn Danzig, but um, first like recorded by Johnny Cash on um, the first American Recordings album, which was produced by Rick Rubin. And... The first four Danzig albums were also produced by Rick Rubin. So there was just, and I was like, when I was playing the song, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, Rick Rubin fucking produced this, dude. That's right. And so I find this video and I start watching it. And he's talking about how his book just came out um, about um, being creative and being an artist and all this stuff. And I was like, what the? F and um, so I watched the interview and he blew my mind because... He was saying a bunch of shit that I've been saying for a long time, but he was saying it in a much more eloquent way. I think the big difference between like what I teach in the Poetic Anarchy course and what he's talking about with his book and stuff like that is he is very spiritual and the spirituality almost comes off before everything else. And whereas me, that's a part of it, but by no means the most important aspect of it. So um, he was talking about just s some stuff about the book and everything like that. And I'm like, I got to get this book. So I went on Amazon and um, bought a couple copies. I was like, I need this book now. Like... I, I can't have that tease. So I went on Audible and I still have like three Audible credits left from back before I, when I forgot I was having Audible credits happening. And um, he reads the book. And so I'm like, I got that. And I was listening to it. And um, he has a wonderful voice and it's very calming. And then at the end of each chapter, he says like a little like quote that I think are just his quotes, but he'll just say like a little profound statement. And then he hits like a, um, one of those, like, I don't know, like Tibetan singing bowl or something like that. And it's just so calming. And um, I listened to the entire book last night and was taking notes and like so many even of the chapters are the exact same as lessons that I teach in Poetic Anarchy. I don't know. I, it, it just blew my mind. So 
any of you, if you are an artist, a musician, a filmmaker, a painter, a sculptor, a writer, a poet, um, a songwriter, whatever you are, get this book. It will definitely help you. It will definitely change the way you look at a lot of stuff. Like, even if you need to, like, if you're an Anarchy Crew and you need to come out of Anarchy Crew for a month to, like, be able to afford to buy this book, do that because this book will help. And I honestly think what I'm going to do is kind of, like, use that as a textbook because um, to me, like, the three biggest books that I've read maybe four that I should probably start using as textbooks for um, Poetic Anarchy is this book, um, The Creative Act, I think is what it's called. Um, Bukowski's Mathematics and the Breath of the Way. Um, How to Write Pulp Fiction by James Scott Bell. And then that one book, um, The Something Artist, Oh, I can't remember the name of the book now. God damn it. Well, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think um, for Anarchy Crew, I'm going to be going through each chapter of this book and talk about it. Because I think it's that fucking important to you um, and to your creativity and your um, future as an artist, as a writer. Um so um, I'll have a link for the book down below. Definitely go get it if you can. Um, and again, the audiobook is beautiful. So if you prefer audiobooks, like grab that. So again, it's called um, The Creative Act. And I can't remember what the subtitle's called, but it's by Rick Rubin. So um, links will, for it will be down below. Um, and if you have any money left over after you get that, pick up my books and type hard and i will talk to you all later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew or the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you